We're back. Yeah. Did you miss us? I hope so. Because we missed y'all. Yes, we did. So, welcome back, everyone. We are here. I'm super pregnant. And yeah. I'm about to get it popping. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so the, we are our sexual healing. Yes, we are. I am Daryl Bell, and this is my wife, Trisha Bell. Bell. Hey. Um, some of you know me as Stephen the Levite. Yes. Um, and uh, today uh, we are trying to do video now. Uh, now that came out for me. <laughs> we're doing video. Yeah, we're doing video because now. video is king. Yeah. <laughs> People want to see things, right? And not just hear things all yes. the time. So. So we're doing a a two a dual thing, video and podcast, so we don't have to do extra work. Amen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, so we could just give them a brief update yeah. on what's going on. Brief, since the kids will be home in 23 minutes. Yes. So, we took a long break because mm-hmm. I was sick out of my mind mm-hmm. from being pregnant, mm-hmm. which was a, Super pregnant. a, a huge surprise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's, that's her being him. sarcastic because it's never a surprise. No, 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 no. It was a surprise. Oh, being pregnant was a surprise. <laughs> yeah. Her being super sick was not. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, that part. Yeah. So, um, I couldn't do anything really, like, at all. So, but now I'm good. I'm, I'm way better. And we're here. I'm not due till September. hmm So, we're going to get it in as much as possible. And so, excuse me if I'm breathing heavy. Okay? Can't help it. It's natural. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Um... Also, I got a job. Yes, I did get a job. Um, It's not amazing, per se. It's not a whole lot of money. Um, So, we're still trying to figure out what else we're going to do. But, in the meanwhile, I do have one. So, it feels like we're kind of out of the the sunken place, so to speak. Yeah, a Um, little bit. Yeah, so. We also are trying to get out of my father's house. So pray. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, we're working our way out. Yeah. Um, in the meanwhile, we didn't want to stop hitting y'all. Which we wanted to, as soon as we were available, which seems to be now, um, mm-hmm. we wanted to try to hit you guys up with some content and let you guys know what's good and give our commentary on things. Mm-hmm. Yes. So. Yeah, yeah. So, we're a little late in responding to this topic. However... Mm-hmm. The topic is still necessary and it's still very relevant. Mm-hmm. Um, so Aisha Curry did an interview not too long ago on the Red Table Talk with Jada Pinkett and her family, mm-hmm. and it was really good. I think it was very insightful. Um, you know, she got a lot of backlash mm-hmm. as she normally does, and yeah. you know, it was very rude and uncalled for. So. Mm-hmm. Men, check yourselves, because some of y'all was on some other stuff. Yeah. Um, but we kind of wanted to talk about, you know, just our own, well, specifically me, my own personal experience relating to hers, and, you know, just kind of what we had been talking about after we watched it and heard about it and stuff. And, mm-hmm. um, yeah, just to kind of give you guys, like, a something to think about. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. So, yeah. I was here. <laughs> so, I watched the whole interview. Um, so I think a lot of people just watched that little clip of hers when she had admitted to, you know, feeling some type of way because, you know, her husband, you know, he has a lot of groupies. I mean, he's Steph Curry. He's one of the most popular basketball players In the alive world. right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so, um, she was just... Starting off by saying, like, you know, I have a little bit of an insecurity issue. So she she admits that she has, this is an issue. It's not like, I'm, I'm like, proud of this, how I feel. She's just like, this is an insecure thing that I have that it's like, you know, my husband's getting all, all this attention, but, you know, I get zero. And, you know, that can... That can kind of weigh on a person, you know, when it's like your spouse is getting all this attention from the opposite sex, but then it's like you're not getting anything. And so mm-hmm. um, she says, you know, it, it, it kind of, it feels a way. Just like, not that I want the attention, mm-hmm. but it would be nice. And that's what she said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I totally could relate to that 
as many of my friends can, because, you know, I have friends who I have, I have a, let me back up. First, I have to give her um, a lot of credit for even like being comfortable enough to say that in front Mm -hmm. of her family, close family and friends. Mm -hmm. You know, the, I appreciate how Jada, you know, created this safe space for people to be vulnerable and you know she intentionally makes it intimate so that people are more comfortable with sharing and I think that's something that you know people don't consider um and so I I really felt like Aisha was in a very comfortable place a safe place where she felt like she could just say and confess that you know Mm -hmm. and then you know she has these strong women who she's like been doing life with her mother-in-law And her sister-in-law and her future sister, another future sister-in-law, like, they share a lot in common. You know what I mean? Like, they have a lot in common. So, you know, they're comfortable enough to, you know, talk about these things. And it's awesome that that, um, Steph Curry's mom has given them, you know, that, like, that, that, again, that safe space to just just talk. And I, I really, I feel like people miss that. You know, nobody was focusing on the fact that, man, like, these women support her. These women got her back. Like, you know, they're they're there. You could tell by just how they were interacting. They love one another. You know, they they got each other's back, period. And you don't find that in a lot of, you know, female settings. <laughs> like, there's not a lot of that in the world. And, you know, I think we should have, fo- should have been more focused on, on the fact that she could be vulnerable and and share her weaknesses with other women in such a comfortable setting, right? Mm -hmm. Um, And I think that we need more of that as women and for men, especially Mm -hmm. for men, because y'all don't be talking about nothing. Like, y'all don't really go deep. (laughs) I'm just saying, you know, men men don't typically, I'm not saying that they never do, but I'm saying, like, that's not a typical thing for men to just be like, you know, I'm going to just go deep and talk about my vulnerable. Yeah, just, you, know. you know what I'm saying? I'm weak, man. You know, like that doesn't always happen. But if you, if you, if people are in more intentional, especially in Christian, in the church, you know what I'm saying? In the church, like it's lacking. And if we don't have these, um, if we're not being intentional about creating, um, I, I, I keep saying this. I'm going to keep repeating it because it needs to happen. Like creating a safe space for women to be vulnerable and talk about their weaknesses and issues and mad, deep matters of the heart, then that, that stuff can stay in your inside and then turn into some other issues that we're going to talk about later. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, I've been talking with some of my friends and other ladies that, you know, I walk with and, they, you know, they really was talking about that same thing. Like, man, like sometimes if I don't have, you know, I don't have that safe space, I don't want to talk about stuff. And then it, it stays inside. And then I'm, I'm like wrestling and, you know, I might end up um, committing some kind of sin because I'm not confessing what I'm, what I'm struggling with. You know what I mean? And so listen, I, I really appreciate her bravery and even Steph Curry coming behind her and supporting her and being like, yeah, my wife is dope and I'm glad she said what she said and I support her and blah, 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 blah. Like, we need more of that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We need more of that. And, and I have personally talked to my husband about that same issue because, again, he's somebody who's, you know, he's not a, a huge star, but he got some some fame and, like, you know, he's had women. There's had There's been a couple of instances where I'm like, yeah, what's good? <laughs> like what's happening and you, you he gets the, a lot of attention and so of course that that can weigh on a, a, the spouse that can weigh on me and so I you know I've had those same conversations with him and you know we both have talked about him even him feeling the same way like feeling like yo you get a lot of a lot of attention I don't really get that much attention I haven't had you know nobody hitting on me not that I need it but it's like mm-hmm. you're human like you're a human being like you yeah. this it, yes it could be it's a sinful like desire but it's like it's real and mm-hmm. if you don't confess that yo these are some things that I'm like wrestling with yeah it's it can turn into other foolishness so yeah you know if you're if you're wrestling and you're struggling like you need to talk about that thing 
mm-hmm. with other brothers, other sisters, like whoever you need, whoever you're comfortable with, you know, you should be able to, you know, have these type of conversations. Yeah. And let me kind of, let's go back a little bit. Cause again, like you felt like her, what she said was totally reasonable because you've been there. Real. Um, Very and you real. you mentioned the fact that I've even felt that way. Because that's true. Like, when I walk down the street in New York, I don't get catcalled. You know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't happen to me. So, like, um, you know, and to an extent, and and this is the other part of it, too. Like, Aisha Curry has set herself up in a situation where um, she's not going to get a lot of that attention. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's not that she's not fly. Right. It's not that she's not killing it. It's not... Like, everybody wants an Aisha Curry, but they're not going to go after Aisha Curry specifically because she's Aisha Curry. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's already taken. She's off the map. And she's not dressing like a thought on Instagram. So, like, (laughs) um, you know, they want somebody who is Aisha Curry. Right. Who even looks like an Aisha Curry. Right. But exposes more skin on Instagram. Yeah. If she was going to dress like a thought on Instagram and be somebody's WCW, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, then everything would be completely different. But yeah. because she's actually wholesome. <laughs> and modest. <laughs> and modest. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to see that as much. Because she's not going to get that kind of attention. Yeah. Um, and again, it's not that they don't want to. But it's it's just that, you know, that's she's not set her she hasn't positioned herself to get that kind of attention. Right. And that's a good thing. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Like it's a good thing that it's not like making the dudes like like you know what I'm saying? Like like I think about a lot of these a lot of these other people, you know, and again I'm not judging or whatever, but mm. it's like, you know, you see a lot of these other like female rappers or, you know, you know, housewives from a reality show or, you know, whatever. (laughs) And they're all on Instagram and you see all the shape and all the skin and all the everything else. And you just kind of like, you know, and they got cats in the comments that don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, yeah, I know she got a man, but uh, you know what I'm saying? Let me try, you know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, you know what I'm saying? So. What did I say? I'm not, I'm mumbling (laughs) because I'm not, I'm mumbling because I'm not actually going to say what these cats be saying. But, um, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, it, it gets crazy. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, and then, like, the dudes got to come in the comments and, and yeah. like, puff their chest up a little bit and say some crazy things about these dudes who try to, you know what I mean? Don't or they try to play it off like, I don't care. Like, I'm still getting in the, in you know, at the end of the day. Like, she's still in my house. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. they don't care. But, um, but either way that, that dynamic is still there yeah. where like they have to, where there's a concern about what people, and you know, and then there's like the factor of, well, I've always been this way, so you can't get mad cause I'm still, right. I'm still who I was when you met me and blah, blah, blah and all that. <laughs> um, you know, so they gotta, you know, they gotta talk through all the details and you know, are we really, ha- do we really have to do all this? So I'm glad I don't have to put up with none of that. You know what I'm saying? Like. Whoever whoever's been catcalling Trish, or like trying to trying to you know cover like cats ain't really coming in the DMs like that. I feel no. like yeah. So mm-hmm. like um, they know better. Yeah. So like <laughs> you know I ain't gotta worry about you know stuff like that, and mm-hmm. it and it feels good not to. And if it did happen, I know it's not. I know it's not anything that Trish did that made them feel like they could do that. Right. You know what I'm saying. Um... So, yeah, so it's, it's, but so, but at the same time, though, I kind of get it, though. You know what I'm saying? I still kind of get it. Because it's like, you know, if I see, you know, if I take you somewhere and, you know, Cats is like paying attention or I'm like, I see Cats staring or, you know, or you tell me another story about, you know, somebody who was like, you know, oh, yeah, they saw me walking down the street and they tried to do this and do that. And I'm like, you know, I get upset about it. But at the same time, it's like, bro, I've been there. Like, I feel, I know mm-hmm. what that feels like to feel like, um, you know, like that. They getting all this attention. Am I still attractive? Like, mm-hmm. do other people still want me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, um, so. Yeah, it's a, it, 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 it makes you think like, yo, am I, yeah, like, do I still got it mm-hmm. type of thing? And it's like, it doesn't, it, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. But mm-hmm. again, as humans. You know, we, we, we desire that. Like, 
And so I, I you know, I just wish that people would, mm-hmm. you know, act like she's a human. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like it's, yeah. a, it's a natural part. It's a natural feeling, you know. And they were, I, I, see, I saw a lot of women coming at her neck, you know, like, girl. You got so what you want? You want men in your DMs? She's like, no, like, like she just told nobody that she said did. that. Like she didn't say any of that. And, and again, this kind of so this kind of branches off into two different discussions. <clears throat> um, because like the problem with our culture is we're cool with a clip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, give me a clip, and I'm a. And not only that, but we won't even we won't even make use of the whole context of even the clip when we make our critiques about it you know yes. what i'm saying we will totally disregard <sighs> something that was said in the clip as we're like totally like taking stuff out of context right. and dissing and so on and so forth it's like bro she just told you she doesn't want the attention right she just told you it's an insecure it's a little bitty <laughs> little itty bitty insecure right. she didn't she didn't even say like oh i'm just obsessed with right getting Feeling attention you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. like oh i would Oh, if somebody, if a dude would just send me a, you know, a, 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 a D pick every once in a while just to make me feel better about, she didn't say any of this stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, it's not what's going on. But, yeah. you know, again, they'll take that out of context. So, again, people, read the whole, listen to the whole clip, pay attention to the whole clip. Watch the whole, you need to watch the whole interview mm-hmm. because no. it'll, it'll put everything into perspective. Yes, please. Um, but also in addition to that, um, there was some other direction I wanted to go with that, but either way, I forget. You're talking about the culture. Yeah, the culture just, they just love running away with stuff like that. But, but again, her, her sentiments are natural. And I think more of us, if we were honest with ourselves, have felt the same way. Yeah. Um, oh, this is the other thing that, the other direction. The other thing about it is, um... There's still this contrast, I think, in the way we think as it relates to um, beauty, as it relates to being attractive and stuff like that. Mm. Um, you know, like I think, I think all of us still, um, we want to, we want somebody who is seen as beautiful by others, mm-hmm. right? But at the same time, we have to be real with ourselves. And I think when we are real with ourselves, we end up with a person that is attractive to us, Mm -hmm. right? Um, It just so happens that some people are lucky enough to end up with somebody that they're extremely attracted to who is also beautiful to everybody else, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Um, But at the end of the day, I think we also have to tell ourselves that, like, what matters most is that Am I content with who I who I am, like what I look like? Yeah. And is my spouse still attracted to me? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I think those are the two more important perspectives to look at when you're talking about what I look like, my appearance and beauty and all that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, most definitely. Because I think the danger in... And again, she admitted it was an insecurity. Mm-hmm. It's not something she really wants, but it would feel nice to have that kind of attention, mm-hmm. right? And I think we all can agree with that. We all feel that kind of way. It would be great if other people other than our spouse looked at us and said, oh, he's kind of cute or, oh, she's fly. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Um, but I think um, when we do that, what we're saying is, you know, my spouse thinking I'm attractive isn't enough. Mm-hmm. Um, or maybe the way my spouse is, expresses their attraction isn't enough. That That part. I think that part is key. You know, because not that I don't, I'm not, and I'm not, this is not saying that you have, because my husband tells me how good I look on a daily, even when I look a hot, stinking mess, okay? Um, but that that could be true for a lot of people, you know what I mean? Like, especially for some women, if they're not feeling attractive because their husband doesn't compliment them or, you know, never takes notice, like... That can all definitely bring in insecurity. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. major, 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 major. And then if somebody else out there is complimenting her, you know, and she's not t- saying anything about, you know, I feel insecure because you don't say blah, blah, blah. If she's not expressing, again, if she don't have a safe space to express herself and how she's feeling, but somebody else 
uh, Jake over here is saying how beautiful she is on a regular, she might dip off. Like, that's a real thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm just, I'm just saying, like, that's why we need to be talking about this stuff, like, outwardly, you know? And, and, and especially women who are feeling that way, you need to talk to your husband. And mm-hmm. your husband needs to provide a safe space for you to even bring that up. If you can't, if you feel like you aren't comfortable enough to talk to your own husband about your insecurities, then there's a problem. Mm-hmm. Husband, you need to fix that. Because mm-hmm. your wife should be able to come to you about anything. Mm-hmm. I feel comfortable telling my my husband is for real my best friend. I can tell him anything. Like, well, even if it's a sinful thought. Like, or, you know, I mean, I've, there's many confessions that I've made to my husband where, you know, I'm struggling with something or some something in my past has come up. And it's like, why am I even feeling some type of way? You know, I can say that to my husband. He look at me and walk, he'll walk me through how I'm feeling. Take me to the scriptures and encourage me and all that stuff. Like, and even be like, you know, maybe you are tripping and, you know, he'll tell me about myself. You husbands need to make sure that your wife is comfortable enough to be vulnerable with you, period. Mm -hmm. And if it ain't happening, then y'all need to have some counseling sessions or something. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, work it out. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't even go all the way. That was good. That was good. (laughs) I didn't mean to go all the way in, but I'm just saying it's like it it needs to, that needs to be, you know, that needs to be a thing. Mm -hmm. And, And that's, that's a form of intimacy too. Like, you know, we, we're big on, like, talking about intimacy and sex, you know, in marriage. And, like, if you, you know, I think my husband has definitely, like, set our marriage up in a way where, you know, like, like sex is a priority, right? But not, it only, it doesn't just only, you know, um, open the door for just, like, a physical you know, intimacy, but it also opens the door up for like just emotional intimacy. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, men, you need to lead in that. Like, I'm just saying. <laughs> just make it happen. Like, make it happen. Just, 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 just. And you need to ask your wife questions. Like, mm-hmm. how do you feel? Do I do I make you feel good? Like, do I make you feel secure? You know what I'm saying? Like, do I compliment you enough? Like, because your wife might not, again, your wife might not, might not be comfortable saying those things. So you need to, again, open up, open up the door for her to feel safe, to be vulnerable with you. And then when she tell you something you don't want to hear, don't wild out. You just take that. You take it, pray about it, pray with her. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you need to do to make her feel secure. Mm Mm-hmm. Period. Yeah. And and also to that extent, I mean, I guess this is kind of another discussion. We can talk about it later, but yes, I'm going to say this real time. quick. I'm going to make this real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, to an extent, attraction is a choice. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like like Break that down. For, for men especially, like I think, because again, you, you, you wrestle with, does the world think she's beautiful? Or do I think she's beautiful? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, because, you know, you look at a magazine cover, you see somebody, you're like, oh, that must be beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Sometimes you're actually attracted and sometimes people are, you know, downright rude about how they think that they're not actually beautiful. Like, she's on the cover of a magazine. Somebody actually thinks she does. Why do you feel like you need to, oh, she's ugly. I don't understand why she's on the cover. But men do that, right? So, um, but I think sometimes... We, you know, it's just like what you eat, you know what I'm saying? If you eat dessert, you know, around like six o'clock, seven o'clock, you're not going to want steak anymore because you just had dessert, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, and I think a lot of times we can change our taste buds. We can make Mm -hmm. ourselves want something that we don't even really, really want like Mm -hmm. that Mm -hmm. because we're taking in too much of it. So if you're Mm -hmm. watching porn, Mm -hmm. if you're looking at these IG models all the time, Mm -hmm. if you're looking at, you know, whatever, right? 
it's easy to forget that you actually are attracted to your spouse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's easy to start feeling like, dang, I wish my wife had a bigger butt. I wish my wife had a big, you know, whatever. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, how come her skin don't look like the skin on this mouth? How come, you know what I'm saying? Like, you start feeling some type of way because you're you're looking at something that's not even real to begin with. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you're you're so caught up in what could, what could be that you forget about reality. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, um, so again, I think the more that you take in the beauty that is sitting right next to you, the more you're content with that, and the more you you appreciate it for what it is, instead of getting caught up in. You know, because again, it's not like you you got with her to begin with and you already thought she wasn't attractive. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, oh, she ain't attractive, but she'll put up with me. So uh, let's see what happens. Like, dudes don't usually do that. Mm -hmm. Women do, mm -hmm. but men usually don't. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, so again, you just need to remember what you thought was attractive and you need to go back to it. You need to stop eating so much junk food that you forget about the snack you got at home. You know what I'm saying? So, um, <laughs> you know, so again, attraction is a choice in a lot, in a lot of levels. That was good. So, We're going to have to quote that one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I think that's all we got for today. Yes. We try to keep these things short and sweet. Mm -hmm. Sometimes an hour and some change can be a lot. So yes. we are uh, trying to do better. Yes. So, yeah, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Yes, for those who are watching, thank you. And, uh, yeah, we'll let you know what happens next time. Or... <laughs> yes, you can um, listen to the podcast. We're on Anchor. We're on iTunes. Uh, yeah, we're on all of that. We're um, coming up with some, some goodies for the future. Um, and our website is still on and popping, OurSexualHealing.co. CO, um, you guys can go there and, you know, access, uh, some of our past, um, content and, uh, yeah, I think that's all we got. Sure. All right, y'all. Till next time. Peace out. Peace.